What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. One thing has become very clear to everyone who watches Laker games, with that being the inability of DeAndre Jordan to provide them with productive minutes. DeAndre Jordan has now become so far removed from his prime that it's almost a bit sad to watch. He might fool you with his good leaping ability yet, but practically every other part of his game has declined heavily. He is no longer the defensive anchor that he was back in his prime. He has become very slow laterally, and it has often made him a liability on defense, and even to the point where opposing teams will outright target him on defense. And that has become a huge problem for a relatively old Laker team that needs a guy who can protect the rim for them. They have a number of below average perimeter defenders, and they need a good rim protector to help make up for that. But with DJ clearly not being capable of doing that anymore, they need to find a replacement for him sooner rather than later. There may not be a whole lot of talent remaining in free agency, but nearly anything is better than DJ at this point, and I think that I may have found three players who could do a better job than DJ is currently doing for them right now. And while you may have never heard of one or two of them, you need to have an open mind here. Many Laker fans had no idea who Damian Jones was before the Lakers signed him last year, but yet he turned out to be a productive player for them. And I Bell Pell. After having a great year of Philadelphia a couple of years ago, Pell kind of became a forgotten about player last year. He initially signed with the Brooklyn Nets, and many thought he would have a big role there, but after the emergence of Nick Claxton, along with them signing Blake Griffin, Pell quickly fell out of their rotation. However, I believe he proved everything that he needed to during his time in Philly. The guy is a certified rim protector. He averaged 1.3 block shots per game in only 9.7 minutes per game during his time in Philadelphia. He is very quick at getting off the ground, and he has very good timing when it comes to blocking shots. And not only can he leave well enough to block shots, but he can recover quickly as well, which can lead to defending multiple shots during the same play. He definitely takes protecting the rim personally, and he knows that is what he is on the court to do. Additionally though, he is fairly quick for a big man, and he is often able to beat his matchup down the court as well. And in my eyes, he would be a clear upgrade over DeAndre Jordan. There is a night and day difference between their ability to protect the rim at this point in their individual careers, with Pell being the clear winner between them. And with him currently hooping in the G League right now, he would only be one call away from accepting a 10 day contract. And with the Lakers lacking depth at center with Anthony Davis being hurt, along with DeAndre Jordan clearly playing bad, adding more depth would not be a bad idea. But now moving on to free agent number 2, which happens to be Justin Patton, a former first round pick, and one that was looked at to have a lot of potential, Patton has now found himself out of the NBA. But it was not for a lack of talent, it was more between his inability to stay healthy, along with a lack of opportunity. However, he did make the most of his short opportunity that he did get last year with the Houston Rockets. He did try to do a bit too much offensively in an effort to stand out, which led to inefficient shooting at times, but he did play pretty well defensively. In only 19 minutes played per game, he was able to average nearly one steal per game and over one block shot per game as well. He has quick hands and long arms, and both of which help him to make plays on defense. And he does not lack for athletic ability as a big either. He is fairly quick for a big, and he is able to move his feet well enough to switch on defense. And then offensively, he can definitely be regarded as a lob threat, but he is actually capable of doing even more than that as well. It probably would not be something that the Lakers would ask him to do, but he has a pretty good shooting touch for a big, and is more than capable of taking shots from the three-point line. He has not yet been able to translate it to reliable 3 point shooting, but he clearly has the potential to be able to. He has a good shooting motion, and to me it appears that he has a fairly well rounded offensive game for a big. And if you need any proof of that, back in January of 2020, he put up a 45 point, 13 rebound, 9 assist, and 6 block game in the G League. Now I know that we are only talking about the G League here, but damn, that is very impressive. 
However, even if he would not be looked at to fill any kind of role on offense beyond being a lob threat, he would still be perfectly capable of filling a rebounding and rim protecting role better than DeAndre Jordan. But now moving on to the third and final free agent that I've included, which happens to be Bismack Biombo. Unlike Norbel Pell and Justin Patton, Biombo has proven to be a quality NBA center over multiple years now. And I have been continually questioning why he is not on an NBA team right now. He reportedly has received little to no interest at all, which led to him even considering playing in Europe. And that to me is baffling. He put up some quality numbers for the Hornets only a year ago. He may be a limited offensive player, but what he can provide on defense would make him a quality big for any NBA team. Biombo has routinely been able to provide over 5 points per game, 5 to 8 rebounds per game, and around 1 block shot per game in only 20 minutes played per game throughout his entire career. Obviously, those are not mind-boggling numbers, but they are still productive, and being able to be a reliable rim protector and rebounding big man is something that the Lakers are not getting from DeAndre Jordan right now. I think a few NBA teams have always been a bit hesitant to add Biombo due to being a bit undersized for a center, but he clearly has already proven that theory wrong. His long arms make up for any concern that you may have about him being a bit shorter than the average 5. And even though he is already a 9 year NBA vet, he is still only 29 years old. He is currently in his prime yet, and I believe that he would make for a big upgrade over DeAndre Jordan. In conclusion though, I think that really any one of Norbel Pell, Justin Patton, or Bismack Biombo could be doing a better job than DeAndre Jordan is doing right now for the LA Lakers. And if you watch my content regularly or keep up with my thoughts on my Twitter or on my Discord, you'll know that I typically do not like targeting any one player, but with how poorly DeAndre Jordan has been playing for them, it has been very difficult for me not to be open about replacing him, and I believe it needs to happen sooner rather than later. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on the three free agents that I believe the Lakers could replace DeAndre Jordan with. And what do you guys think? Which one of them would you pick to replace DJ? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. And if you have not already, be sure to join the official Discord for the channel. I'll have it linked both on the screen and in the video description. And if you want additional NBA content from me on YouTube, head over to my second channel called JSM Plus. I make more diverse NBA content over there, so if you think you might enjoy that, be sure to check it out. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.